Hi, how are you? Today we're going to be attempting to make the gamin skirt. Gamin? The gamin lace up cotton twill mini skirt by... We're just gonna get into it. So, I used a video to help me draft this high-waisted skirt pattern. We will be working from this denim skirt overall situation so we'll fold her in half like so like that and then I'm gonna place this as high as it can go pins we need them I have my handy dandy Our handy dandy scissors and we're just gonna cut we're gonna cut, we're gonna cut her, we're gonna cut her, and we're not gonna forget the seam allowance, because the seam allowance is necessary. We have the front. Now we cut the back. See if we can see. So on the front, it's actually two separate pieces, so we're just going to cut that down the middle while it's still folded. The front and the back. The next thing I'm going to do, which you know is going to be a lot of fun because it involves a seam ripper, is that I'm going to seam rip all these hems just so that it's easier to work with. Because as is, it might be difficult to sew. We're having fun. Done. Okay, let's move on. So I'm gonna cut some lining. Oops. Didn't mean to hit you. What I'm going to do next is to attach the front pieces together and to attach the lining pieces together. So I've ironed all my seams. I forgot to mark the dark so As per the pattern, I added two darts to the back and one dart to each side of the front. I say each side of the front because the front is divided into two panels. Added darts to both the denim fabric and the lining fabric. So I've pinned the top of the dart and then where it ends, so I'll sew it down like that. So on the left side of the skirt, there's the opening. It's a hook and eye closure. I don't have hook and eye strips and I don't want to sew on individual hook and eyes, like at all. So instead I'm gonna use a zipper. I'm gonna go a little bit past this point, it's about 5 inches in. And using our handy dandy, our handy dandy scissors, I'm gonna cut there. I'm gonna do the same thing on the lining but with the fabric facing the wrong side. With fabrics facing wrong sides together, I cut out a similar piece on the lining. So 
for fabrics facing right sides together we're gonna attach the zip similar to the way we did the Vivian Westwood inspired corset so just find the zip it was in my pocket <laughs> I want the part of the zip that opens to be at the top about an inch down and we pin so I put the zipper on the wrong side because when you open it it faces backwards <laughs> so I'm gonna have to switch the position which is great so I put the side of the zipper with the slider on the smaller panel and the side without the slider on the larger panel so I want to put a flap that will cover the zipper so I'm gonna cut a strip that's 3 inches by 20 and a piece of lining so I'm gonna sew on one end and then on both sides leaving the top open then I'll flip it on the top and then sew it shut close the ends so I'm turning this inside out and I'm gonna close the ends I saw along here on this one and on the bigger panel right sides facing each other I'm gonna sew it close as well Based on the description of the garment, I also added boning, but I don't think it was necessary, especially if your aim is not to replicate the skirt and to just take inspiration from it. For that reason, I will not be showing the process in detail. Now we're going to figure out this um, front panel situation. I need to measure the widest point of the panel. The widest point would be, I think, on the eye. So this is good in terms of like great work in the middle. The middle is 10, putting 5 at that point we mark and marking the ends. And the top was 7 and a half. Cut a piece of lining. So I'm gonna sew along the sides and the bottom and leave the top open. Ironed it down. So before I attach the middle part, I'm going to close off the end. So I measured the length of the waistline and the hemline. Then I cut strips that were 2.5 inches wide. I sewed them together in order to make two long strips, one for the waist and one for the hem, that were slightly longer than the length measured. Then right sides facing each other, I sewed the strips onto the inside of the skirt, making sure to leave some excess fabric on either side. I turned it over, folded in the ends, folded the strip in half, then folded it over and sewed it down. I closed off the smaller panel separately from the larger one. So I think I have to sew it two inches in. of the 
skirt there are these these straps that dangle i actually have this which came off a different pair of skirt overalls and i think this is pretty much perfect it's in the front and in the back but i only have two of these so that's not gonna happen so i'm just gonna cut these and have them dangle off the front fun And we'll sew those in place. So they're sewn in place. Could you? Thank you. Thank you. So they're sewn in place with two stitches. I've gone over it twice or thrice. Now the last thing I have to figure out is the eyelets. I could have just sewn loops, but I didn't want to sew loops. I don't have metal eyelets. So I'm going to have to sew the eyelets by hand. That is the situation with which we are dealing. So I've marked their positions. Let's see, they're about one and a half inches apart. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve eyelets on each side. So twenty-four total. I will be sewing twenty-four eyelets. Can you hear the excitement in my voice? So I'm gonna mark how deep they're gonna go. How deep is your love? Is it like the ocean? How deep? So about one inch deep. I need thread. I need a needle on thread. I've already put it through and then going through the hole and coming out as close to our other point as possible. And then I'm going to take this thread and wrap it around and pull. Okay, something I should have mentioned is you want to hold the pieces you've cut backwards and work through them like that. So you're folding them towards the back while sewing. One down. So the ties, so I have this pair of jeans, they have a decent amount of stretch to them, they're also a lot thinner, which will be beneficial to us. So what I'm going to do is to cut one inch strips, After I attached them together on a diagonal, I folded in one end, folded the sides towards the middle, folded it in half again so they would join, then I sewed it down. I didn't know how much I would need in terms of length, so I made it really, 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 really long and hoped for the best. And boy, did we receive the best. So I may have made the tie just a tad, a tad bit too long. Scissors.
Have a great time.